Hey, what's up? It's Jim, and today's film is Cave of Forgotten Dreams. This is the new documentary directed by Werner Herzog. It takes place in a cave in France where they have discovered drawings that they believe to be 30,000 years old and have been sealed up in this cave for 20,000 years. And they're made on the cave, like using the curves of the cave and the stalagmites as part of their canvas, I guess. When I heard about this movie, I thought, Werner Herzog 3D? Regardless of Herzog's involvement, I just felt, this is a movie about cave drawings. Drawings are 2D. Why is it in 3D? That's the biggest element of it I think that I found perplexing before I saw it. However, I think that's one of the best parts of it is the 3D is very, very atmospheric. I guess uh, this is what I would call a thinking man's 3D movie. One of the only 3D films I felt that really used it for both educational reasons, the idea of 3D, like it's like you're right there. But in this 3D film, I actually did feel like when they were talking to some of these people, like they could be right there. I like that about this film. This is one of the few films I think that isn't just using 3D as either a gimmick or a way to like, you know, wow you again. This is just a lot subtler from 3D. And I never thought I'd see a subtle 3D movie, but I guess Cave of Forgotten Dreams would be that. In what, most films you'd have just a talking head explaining like this review is, which is very boring. That Herzog will stop the interview, get into a conversation about how he was in the circus. And when he's doing an interview with this one guy, who's a scientist, he starts talking to him about his days in the circus and like, what did he do in the circus? Was he a lion tamer? In Herzog's case, he's using it to really build the characters and make these more than just talking heads. Not that he's really using that character for anything other than to draw you in more. They're cave drawings from 30,000 years ago. You can get a little bored. And probably the only problem with this movie is it does feel a bit too long. Almost like Herzog is like one cut away from a completed film, but he wanted to move on to other stuff. I kind of like that it's not as cut down and refined. It gives it a nice quality, but I did get a little drowsy as well. The cave drawings are really breathtaking and very amazing, and it's interesting how at the end when they really show you the drawings and they show you accurately, or as accurately as I think they could have shown, how they would have viewed these drawings with fire and the way he did it was kind of so magical, and they talk a lot in this film about how man felt closer to the spiritual side of things at this time, which was during the Ice Age, and how they felt like more connected to nature. When you get to that end part, you really do feel like you're in the cave, and that's one of the best things about this film. After hearing about this cave for so long and learning about their journey to document this cave and hearing all these different people talk about the cave when you eventually get to see it you know so much about this cave and these drawings you can really take a look at them and understand them all the better you do feel transported back to that kind of world and this very nature cave environment and then you know then i had to get outside the ifc center and be in new york city and it was like whoa with any Werner herzog movie it shows how strong of a filmmaker Herzog is that, I mean, there's one point he just has his camera against the glass of an alligator exhibit, it looks like, and he can make that have more meaning than most people can in an entire film. Even though that might be a little pretentious, and even when seeing that part might be a little pretentious, it's true. It's, that's kind of the filmmaker Herzog is. He might work fast, and he might not have the most refined works in the world, but he definitely makes enjoyable cinema and good cinema. And that's what I think makes Cave of Forgotten Dreams more than just a boring History Channel documentary that really wouldn't be that interesting. And I think Herzog makes it come alive. It's something I'm glad I saw. It's, it's both an experience and educational. And so if you have seen Cave of Forgotten Dreams and you would like to talk about it, then comment below in the comments and subscribe if you would like to. As you can see, these glasses aren't the normal glasses. The real D glasses or the IMAX glasses, these are different. IFC was nice enough to give them to me. They're very comfy. They're comfier than uh, normal 3D glasses, but they do kind of pinch your nose. They pinched my friend's nose, and he had a mark afterwards, so. But they're kind of nice. Can add to my 3D glasses collection, these guys. I like them, you know. Thanks, IFC. Oh, you know what? There's an anti-theft tag installed in this. Can they like track me? For in theater movie viewing only, glasses do not block sunlight. 
Outdoor use may be hazardous. Anti-theft tag installed. Wow. Patents pending. Well, if they're pending, I guess I don't have to worry too much. 